Hello, welcome. Um, try this problem out, press play, and we'll solve it together. All right, so the first thing I would do is write this out. We have 87 times e to the point 3x. So I write it out so I can slow down and think about it. And I see that, okay, we're trying to find the value of this variable right here. So we're going to use some kind of logarithmic approach. I would actually first divide both sides by 87. The first thing I like to do in these kind of problems is isolate or get this e term all by itself. And that's going to help us out in a moment. So we have um, 5,918 divided by 87. I'll leave that alone for a moment, which is to confirm. Let's see, I guess, if that does work. In other words, if it's a whole number. So quit here. 5918. Got it. Divided by 87. Got that. And that is 50, that is 60, 68 degrees essentially. Um, okay, so that's not going to help us here, but we've we've got that written down now. So so what? Um, just playing with the colors here. All right. So we have e to the point three x equals to this quotient right there, which is fifty nine um, fifty nine eighteen over eighty seven. Okay. Now I want to take the log of both sides because that will allow me to get rid of this base. It's hard to work with. So I'll take the natural log of both sides. If whatever base you see here, try taking that the log of that base to solve it. All right, on this side now, what we can do is say, all right, well, our, our clog law, essentially c times log base a of a, tells me that this x one can come down in front. So it's gonna be 0.3x times a natural log of e and that should excuse me equal uh, the natural log of 5918 minus the natural log of 87 and we are trying to solve for x so here I'll leave x and then I'll divide out these things but the natural log of e right here that's just one so don't have to worry about that but all of this stuff on the right hand side um, all of this stuff on the right hand side uh, can be divided by 0.3x, right? So um, we have the natural log of 5918 minus the natural log of 87. And I didn't have to change that. I could have left that as the natural log of 5918 over 5087, which might have been easier and then divide the whole thing by 0.3, and that will give us our x value. So let's just pull up the calculator and do that. We have the natural log of 5918. Boom, close those parentheses, and then subtract the natural log of 87. So give you some enter, some first enter gives some result, and then divide that by 0.3. And you get 14.066, right? It tells me that x is about 14.066, which is choice four in our original problem. So again, with these kind of problems, just makes you isolate this term right here by dividing out any coefficients on both sides and then take the log of this base, whatever base you're given on both sides, and just keep going, keep simplifying. You'll get the hang of these. All right, thanks.